Slyon Nation is already thousands strong and it only promises to get bigger after its debut to the Great White North. However, size isn't always everything. Matt has been telling me for quite some time now that North America is making the shift towards smaller cars. So I give him the chance to prove that the compact and subcompact invasion is real. I've been chewing Donna's ear off for the last little while about subcompact cars, about how important they are and how they're taking over our market. So she challenged me to show you as many as possible in as little amount of time as possible. I'm going to do that, plus I'm going to throw in a few compact cars for good measure. Behind me, brand new 2011 Ford Fiesta, 1.6 liter four cylinder engine, available as a five door hatchback and a four door sedan. Okay, so there's no fit. That's too bad. I mean, it's probably one of the greater cars right now available in the subcompact segment. Too bad. Yellow Smart 4.2. Now, there's a nice little car there. Three cylinder, one liter gas engine. A lot of fun to drive. You just got to handle that transmission. We got to keep going. There's a Mini E. It's not exactly a car you can buy at the dealership right now, but it is a compact car. It's a premium compact car. This is a Volkswagen GTI. Okay, you got the regular Golf as well. Right now, there are no subcompacts for Volkswagen, aka the Polo. Volkswagen are teasing us, you know, they're saying it's coming. Too bad, I'm wasting time, gotta go. The new Fiat 500, I look at this car and I get goose pimples almost. I, I know that uh, Fiat has a turbocharged engine, maybe like a 1.1 or 1.2 liter engine. It's gonna be economical, it's gonna drive like a go-kart and I want one. Finally, Scion is coming to Canada in 2010. We're gonna get the full line. So that's XB, XD, and the TC. All compact cars. Here we're at Toyota. You got your Corolla, you got your Matrix, you got the Yaris sedan. Over there, you got the Yaris hatchback. And there's a whole bunch of new ones coming. Uh, Toyota IQ, they have a concept hybrid there. Toyota's got a whole bunch of small cars and they've been doing that for a very long time. Right here to my left. The Mazda 2, I got to drive this car, it's a lot of fun. It is zoom, zoom, zippy, all you want. Can't forget the Mazda 3, also one of the biggest sellers in the compact segment in Canada. Let's keep going. If you look carefully, now that we're in the GM stand, over yonder is that green little car, now that's the new Spark, it's gonna be their subcompact car, it looks really cool. You may recognize it from the movie Transformers. I'm looking at the Spark and I'm thinking it's going to compete directly against the new Fiesta and the Mazda 2. Over yonder, just behind it, that blue car, that's the new Aveo, completely redesigned and it uses a lot of Chevy's new design language. Here we have the Chevy Cruze, all new, new compact car from GM. It looks really sleek. That's another one that I'm looking forward to taking for a spin in 2010. I mean, I'm looking at all these small cars, even I'm surprised. I mean, this is a serious invasion. Here's another suggestion. Compact car, Subaru Impreza. All right, we're gonna have to be quick here. Uh, the, the Kia, the Forte, the Forte Coupe, two compact cars. And lastly, not to forget from Kia, the Rio, which is not on the floor right now, but that's a subcompact car. Almost done. This is the Accent. I think right now it's probably the oldest player in the subcompact category, but certainly should not be overlooked. And just beside it is the Elantra, another compact car, very popular as well. Okay, Donna, now we've come full circle. We started at Ford, we're back at Ford. And we're gonna end it off with the brand new Focus. Four cylinder, two liter engine across the board. It's gonna be economical, it's gonna be safe, and it's gonna be a blast to drive. That initial test drive should come sometime around early 2011. Okay, so we've done them all. By my count, 14 or 15 cars. Donna, if you don't believe me now that these cars are invading the market, I can't help you. Finish, and that's it.